Hello there Algarve lovers, welcome back to our channel and today we're in Isla de Faro, that's Faro Island and we're at a beautiful restaurant called Elementos absolutely great location right on the Rio Formosa here so if you'd like to join us, come along what a great location, beautiful, very nice restaurant Hi Algarve lovers What have you got there Sue? Well, you won't need more than one guess. A lovely sangria, a Matty's sangria, and look how cool this is, guys. The bottle upside down, so as you fill your glasses up, it fills the jug up. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, your new name, Sue. Sangria Sue. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. How much is a sangria, Sue? 22 euros. But, guys, this is a two litre. So this will last us for the full lunch, won't it, Steve? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what they give us these for. What do you think? What's that thing called? Water. Yeah. So here at Elementos, it's a typical Portuguese short Mediterranean restaurant. And we're, we're going to choose the starters now. I'll just tell you a few things that they do here. They do the tuna tartar, salmon tartar. They do the shrimp tempura. They do razor clams. The bruschetta. They do cuttlefish. But they also do pork cheeks as a starter. So I fancy that, the bouchetches. Mm. And also, I know, I know what you like, they do the beef carpaccio. Yeah, I love that. So should we go with them for the starters? Yeah, and what's the price on them, Steve? Right, it's uh, oh, 10 euros 20 for the pork cheeks. Um, beef carpaccio, a little bit more expensive, 13.90. Yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, kid. So guys, starters have arrived and don't they look delicious? Mmm. Yeah, well, we've got here the pig's cheeks and they're in a lovely sauce. It's it's uh, wine, garlic and some type of stock. And um, they're so succulent, these pig's cheeks. They're called bullshashes here, I think. It's a hard one to pronounce. We eat them a lot, but we can't, we actually can't say, <laughs> say the name. But yeah, guys, these are lovely. And Steve and I love to share our starters, don't we, Steve? Certainly do. Yeah, because we just want to try everything. So yeah, we're going to split it between us and we're going to let you know what it's like in a minute. Go on then, kid. So here they are, guys, the bull shashes. <laughs> yep, we keep getting it wrong sometimes, hopefully, but we do know they are called pig's cheeks in English. So look at that, look at that sauce. So I'm just going to put one on mine. There's, I've got one cheek, Steve, and I'll give you the other cheek and we're going to taste it. Some of this lovely sauce on your steak. Yeah, it's delicious, that. Ooh, Looking look at that, guys. That. How's the pig's cheek, Steve? Well, they're very succulent. Look at that. The sauce looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is beautiful. Is but it up there with the best of them? It, you know what? It, it actually is. Yeah. I think um, it is right up there with them. The yeah. sauce is absolutely amazing. Mm, I can't wait to try mine. And they're really tender. You don't, even, you don't even have to bite them, it just melts in your mouth. Yum, yum. This Beautiful. is exactly what we needed today. And look at the weather, guys. And look at that view. Could you imagine eating pig's cheeks with this view? <laughs> Fantastic. We've got a beach nearly all to ourselves, Steve. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Here is our second starter. It's delicious, this. We've had it before. It's beef carpaccio and some mozzarella cheese, rocket, fried tomatoes, and a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. And anyway, Steve, get tucked in and uh, tell us what this is like. See what the beef's like? So the beef is very tender. It is raw and they sort of like marinade it, don't they, Steve, for quite a while and it in lots of like mm -hmm. garlic and seasoning. Come on. Tell us, what is it like, Steve? Well, it's really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. We've had it loads of times, this Steve. Come on, give us a rating, one to ten. Well, hang on, I'm just going to have a look One hour, more. ten. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really nice. Yeah? I'm just going to get something smart with it. Okay. Mmm. I don't know what they drizzled over it. Try this with the mozzarella, too. Okay. Don't eat it all, Steve. Save some for me, please. Mm. Yeah? You're going to love this. Mm. There's a nautical centre next door to this restaurant. Steve will tell you what they do. Go on, Steve. Right, so they do windsurfing, kayaking, pedalboarding, 
They have yoga classes on the beach just right in front of us there. Oh, I fancy a bit of that. So, what a great day. And then do some sports and pop here for lunch. Yeah. How good's that? Yeah, because you'll be really hungry after that, won't you? Certainly will. Well, oh, guys, don't want to make you jealous. I've just had to swap seats with Sue because my face is burning in the sun. <laughs> in February. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, we've just ordered the mains. I'll let you know what we're having. So I'm going to have the uh, chicken breast rolled in bacon stuffed with cheese and spinach. Sounds nice. And uh, Sangria Sue is going to have a shrimp risotto. Mm. What's the price of mine then, Steve? Shrimp risotto is 14 90 and the chicken with spinach is 13 90 mm. Well, if it's anything like the starters, it's going to be good. I've just got to say, the quality of the food up to now has been absolutely excellent. Really good. So this restaurant is situated just opposite Faro, which can reach it by boat from the old town. Also, you can drive to it. I don't know if you're familiar, but as you come to the airport, where the roundabout is where the statues are, if you turn right, go over the bridge and come to the Rio Formosa side here. And the beach is just across the way here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just 50, 50 metres the other side. You know, it's ideal, isn't it? If you want the beach, the, the Rio Formosa. It's absolutely perfect. And a great little um, thing to do is if you ever return your car to the airport on your way home and you've got a couple of hours to kill, pop over to the island sample of food over here. Yeah. It's really good. And take in your last view. <laughs> Your main looks lovely, Steve. Yeah, well, I'm su surprised how, these, how it's been presented because it does look delicious. I was expecting, like, one big fat chicken breast, but yeah. they've done it really nice. Yeah. So, it's chicken breast, mm -hmm. stuffed with cheese, spinach, got a red cabbage, salad, tomatoes and a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Mm. But I've got to go for this because it looks really nice this. So here we go. Very nice. Succulent. Mm. Beautiful. That risotto looks nice too. Yeah it does doesn't it stay. I've not had risotto for ages so I'm going to give it a little try. It's got some nice parmesan cheese and some really big shrimps on it. Looks good, I'm sure it is. Let's give it a go. Mm. Yeah, it's great, this guy's. If you love risotto and you love sitting out with a beautiful sea view, especially on the Ria Famosa, come and try Elementary Restaurant. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it, Steve? Um, a lot of people who come to visit the Algarve, they totally forget to come and visit Faro and this beautiful island here with gorgeous restaurants, bars, and the and the city. The city is wonderful with all the, you know, the historic buildings, the bars, the restaurants, the marina. They just forget lovely Faro. Well, guys, the great lunch today at Elementus here on Faro Island. Absolutely fantastic location food was really nice. Our waiter, Silvio, very efficient, very friendly, looked after us. Absolutely fantastic lunch. So guys, if you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. So we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Ciao guys. Mm -hmm.